Hi everyone. Today I want to show you a little bit about time code and the time data manager in Unreal. Now you guys may say, well, I don't have any time code gear, so I don't care about that. But actually, you can use this even if you don't have time code gear to help things out. And also, it's kind of helpful for the Live Link Face app that I'm using to animate the MetaHuman right now. Now right now, I'm using this about the same way that you guys probably have been using it all along. Just standard default settings, no syncing. And you can see that if I kind of get crazy with moving my head around, maybe there's occasionally a little hitch or something that doesn't look quite right. I don't know, it's hard for me to tell. But uh, the point is, what happens is that sometimes when data is going over your network, it doesn't quite arrive at exactly the same timing that it gets sent with. This is kind of just the nature of the way networks work. I mean, you know, you send data and sometimes in the process they get the packets get a little closer together or further apart as they're going over the network, particularly if you're using Wi-Fi like I am right now. This can result in more extreme movements, not looking particularly smooth, or uh, possibly if your Wi-Fi network is a bit overcrowded, you can get actual hitches and stutters that are pretty noticeable. So what good is time code for fixing this? Well, timecode is basically a way of putting some timing information in a signal that you send at the sending end so that when it gets received, it can be synchronized up with the receiver. To do this, you have to have some synchronized clocks on the sending and the receiving end, which is actually easier to do than you would think. And I'll show you that in just a minute. You probably noticed this thing down at the bottom of the screen called Time Data Monitor. This thing works to monitor all the different things that are coming in over time code and syncs them up and make sure that they're all lined up correctly so that everything in your system is happening at the same time. Now, take a look down here and you'll see there's a little clock. That means that right now, all of the information coming in from my iPhone is being evaluated based on the uh, time that it shows up. So if there's any little stutters or anything in my network that change the way the packets are received, if they don't come exactly at the same rate that they were sent, that'll cause a stutter and this won't fix it. And you can see right now this little green bar is right over against the wall. Now, if I switch this to evaluate based on time code, and I punch the calibrate button, you can see that now that my little green bar is not quite at the edge. That's because now the system is lining up what shows up from the phone based on the time it is on the phone when it was sent instead of at the time when it was received on my computer. So now if there's some timing problems introduced by my network where the packets aren't arriving at the uh, PC at exactly the same spacing they were sent when they left the phone, the time code will actually sync things up and make sure that everything looks nice and smooth. And you can see now if I do some crazy stuff, hopefully it's going to look a bit smoother. Particularly if I do really fast things. Because now everything looks like it's arriving at my computer much more smoothly. So if you've been trying to use Live Link Face and everything looks a little janky with hitches and maybe not quite so smooth animation, you can try this and see if it helps things out. This may particularly be of help if you can only run over Wi-Fi because you don't have a wired interface. All of this has been done over Wi-Fi and I think it looks pretty clean and smooth. Now I'll show you how to set this up. The first thing you need to do is get the Time Data Monitor plugin turned on. You just go to plugins and you can say timed and there it is and I've already got it enabled you just need to check this and then restart Unreal. Then when you want to see the time data monitor you can just go up to Windows, Developer Tools and it'll be down here under Time Data Monitor. But for this to work the clock on your phone and the clock on your PC have to be identical. That sounds like it might be kind of hard to set up, but it actually isn't. The systems for doing that are already built in. To sync up the time on your PC, you can just go down here, type time, and go to the time and date setup. 
Now many of you will have this set up already, but you might want to double check it just to make sure. Make sure that set time automatically is turned on. And then under here where it says synchronize your clock, it should say that it was synchronized sometime today. And it should give a time server name, probably the same as this one here. Uh, if you want to make sure everything is working, you can press sync now and it'll update. And that's all there is to setting it up on Windows. What it's doing is it's using a protocol called NTP or Network Time Protocol to talk to a time server out on the internet. And this actually is fairly sophisticated and tries to deal with any kind of errors and uh, glitches that you might have in your PC's clock in any differences in speed in the internet connection. So it's actually pretty accurate, frequently down to a millisecond. To set up Live Link Face, just tap the little gear icon. And second from the top, you'll see time code, which is set to system time right now. Tap that. Now you can see that your options are System Timer, NTP, or Technical Sync. Technical Sync is a piece of Pro hardware you probably don't have, and NTP is the same time server we use to sync up the PC. Tap on NTP, and now you can see we're synced to the time server at Apple. This is synced to the same internet master clock as the PC time server was. Now you can go back to Settings and back to the Live Link Face main screen, and you'll see everything is all set up and running now. All you have to do is come down into the time data monitor down here and you should see your live link face information coming in. And probably it'll already be set almost correctly. The only thing that you have to do to get it to work is to make sure eval here has the little time code icon instead of the platform time. And then just punch calibrate and that'll make sure that the timings of your video and your live link are all synced up and you're pretty much ready to go. From there, it works just like LiveLink has always worked.